Anytime you are building your marriage on laws and commandments, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, you are simply bringing condemnation. Because nobody will go to meet all that, thou shalt not, especially between you and your spouse. Yes, we bring up the children in the nurture, in the fear of the Lord, the ways of the Lord. But when you bring laws and commandments into your relationship with your spouse, the truth is your spouse will not be able to meet all the things, all the laws you are setting in place. And that will bring condemnation. She will not be good enough for you. She will not please you. She will not like the way she laughs. You will not like the way he talks. All that will bring death. But the Bible tells us uh, that the ministry of the Spirit exceeds much more in glory. I love that. The ministry of the Spirit. So when you allow the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit brings freedom. It brings life into your marriage, into your home. When you allow Him. You don't allow condemnation. Nobody likes being condemned. You know what I'm talking about. Nobody likes being condemned. Focus on the strength of your spouse. Focus on the strength of your spouse. Focus on His... Is his ability, what he's able to do well, and not just the weakness. You watch out for what he does not do well and just attack it. That will not help you and that will not help your spouse. The old covenant, remember, is about bondage. It's about bondage. I say it again, it's about bondage, about condemnation, about death. The new covenant is about reconciliation, it's about restoration, it's about fellowship. Kononia, oneness in the spirit, oneness with the Father. When we do this, we give ourselves to the new covenant where we choose to love, we choose to forgive, we choose to believe in each other. We allow the I want to read something to you. This is going to help you. I love this. Grace of God brings salvation. The Bible tells us in the book of Titus. This same grace of God forgives. The grace of God heals, restores. The grace of God is for time of need. You always need the grace of God. We have to be established in grace and be strong in grace. So when we allow this grace of God in the home, there will be salvation, there will be forgiveness, there will be healing, there will be restoration. And it's always for time of need. When it looks as if, I can't take this anymore, what you need is grace. I'm not going to take this anymore, I'm tired, I'm just going to let go of this marriage. You just need the grace of God to continue the journey. And then you have the love of the Father. I, have it. I love talking about the love of our Father. Love forgives. Love the Father's love accepts people. Then the Father's love covers, covers multitude, multitude of sin. You see, I'm going through all this so that you can appreciate who we are as New Covenant believers. We don't make room for divorce, New Covenant believers, because we have the grace of God. We have the love of God that forgives, and we have the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit is lubricates. Pardon me, I'm just in a hurry to set up everything. <laughs> the fellowship of the Holy Spirit lubricates, brings together draws near, unites, and keeps together. If any believer who lives in communion with the Holy Spirit should draw life strength from that communion, that communion, and begin to fellowship with his or her spouse. Beautiful. I believe that must have blessed you. So I take it again. Fellowship of the Spirit lubricates. So when you fellowship with your spouse, it will bring life to the relationship. Spending time together. And it unites, it keeps you together. Fellowship, spend time, just spend time, just spend time, just spend time together. This is the new covenant marriage. This is how you build. Don't allow condemnation. Don't allow condemnation. Don't allow judgment. Don't allow condemnation. Father in heaven, thank you for grace to build a new covenant marriage. Thank you for helping us not to allow condemnation in our lives, in our marriage in our marriages, in our homes. Thank you. We bless you, Abba Father. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, our helper. Amen.